So the two mRNA vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna, are actually remarkably similar. They have the same basic structure of, you know, mRNA within, coated by a lipid um, or fat coating to get into your cells. And the initial clinical trials showed very similar e efficacy. So 94.5% for one, 95% for the other. And as we've been following how well they've been working in the, in the real world over time, they've continued to perform very, very similarly. Now recently, there have been a couple studies that have come out that suggested that Pfizer maybe isn't performing quite as well in terms of preventing any COVID illness. Now they both are still performing you know, in the high 80s, 90% in terms of preventing severe COVID, hospitalization and death. So I think they're very similar in that, in that case. You know, I think that there's still definitely more to be learned about this. You know, is it something related to the vaccine itself? Is it something related to the populations that were vaccinated in that in those studies? Is it something about the interval? You know, Pfizer was three weeks versus Moderna was four weeks. Um, we know that in general, the more vaccines are spaced out, the more durable or long lasting an immune response uh, often is. You know, the goal with these vaccines when they were first released is to get met as many people vaccinated as quickly as possible um, to you know obviously combat the pandemic so whether those are the best intervals out there you know we don't know that yet but for people who are you know still haven't been vaccinated and are just considering getting their first dose now I would not try to selectively choose one or the other you know we're lucky that now they all three vaccines for Pfizer Moderna and J&J &J are all more or less readily available so if you're going to uh, a pharmacy and all they have is Pfizer all they have is Moderna all they have is J&J &J, I still would really recommend just getting that first dose um, and get yourself protected as soon as possible.